Hi guys, welcome to a new National Masterclass. I am as always Jamie. Today we're going to be talking about Jimi Hendrix. And I know what most of you guys are probably thinking from the thumbnail. I'm going to sit on here and badmouth Jimi and talk about how his his guitar playing and his effect on on history and music even today is completely overblown. Well, I'm not. I listen to Jimmy all the time. I play Jimmy on my guitar and study what he does and what he's offered, which is huge. Definitely one of the biggest guitar players of all time. But there's a lot of crap misinformation out there. You ask any guitar player who's the best guitar player and who is automatically going to say. Jimi Hendrix was, is, and always will be the greatest guitar player of all time. Right, right, right. And um, why do you think you can call any guitar player the best? Musicians can absolutely be rated objectively. Mm, ooh, ooh, ooh. That's what they taught you at... Not Juilliard. Now... He will go, Tyler goes on about how original he was. In fact, what is one of the original things Jimmy did? Putting his guitar against the microphone stand and against the guitar amp with the insane feedback. Playing guitar with his teeth, playing guitar behind his head. These are all things that are emulated and copied by guitar players to this day. And it all started with Hendrix. Wrong! There was a, um, I can't remember if it was VH1 or MTV about uh, Jimi Hendrix life. I, I've been trying to find it on YouTube. If you guys can find it, please let me know. Where his uh, bass player, not Noel Redding, um, looked right at the camera and said, people think Jimi invented playing guitar with his teeth and behind his head. No, people were playing that in, so in the South for years long before Jimi. Pretty much everything Jimmy ever did, he learned from playing down south, right? Because that's where this all began. Pretty much everything he did that people thought were original was something guitar players long before him had ever been doing. What he did was he brought it to the masses, right? People weren't all listening. Blues wasn't mainstream. Jazz wasn't mainstream, but rock was. So he takes this in front of all of these white audiences who are the mainstream audience of that time and all of a sudden he invented it where he says and it all comes back to jimmy no it all comes back to dudes that were playing in the south for decades before jimmy did act where he learned it from it all started there and they got to watch what they had started blow up and someone say someone else did it but when they asked jimmy jimmy never said he invented any of that he never said he was the greatest guitar player of all time because he knew there's no such thing there's no such thing you can qualify and quantify well, well let's think about it then okay so eddie van halen happy he didn't invent tapping no he did not invent tapping but nobody did anything like he did as far as tapping right hand hammer-ons and actual tapping an octave above uh nobody sounded like that he didn't invent uh volume swells try to find anything that ever sounded like cathedral anywhere in the world before eddie van halen jimmy pioneered these pedals <laughs> eddie went in and worked on them he he invented sounds that had never been heard before he did it but is he the best guitar player of all time? No. No one is, because there's always someone better. Joe Satriana. Jet Satriana. Satriani would be better than both of them. Steve Vai. Right. And better than them are these five-year-old kids you see all over YouTube that can play anything these guys can. But here's one of the biggest things. You say that you can't say these players today play better than Jimmy. You, you can't say that, because back then... Wait a minute, we can easily find an Albert King quote in Rolling Stone, and you could probably Google it, where Albert King says, I could easily play anything Jimmy could play, but he couldn't play my stuff. Who among you, who among any of you real guitar players is going to dare, dare say that Albert King was lying? None of you. That's what I thought. I think it was Mike Cole did a, a video about why guitar players hate Jimmy. No, I've never heard anybody. 
literally. And he says, if you ask people who's the greatest guitar player of all time, who do they say? Well, I know on YouTube, every time you put in the greatest guitar player of all time, it's Eddie Van Halen, lie, lie without a net. But I don't think any of them. It's redundant and asinine to say this one person was the greatest guitar player in the world. And you say, Jamie, where all this come from? I mean, what, what even got you started? This utter crap right here. Where they have the picture of Eddie Van Halen in front, but is he the number one? No. And what do they say? In case, in case there's any doubt, the greatest of all is Jimi Hendrix. What absolute crap. And they go on to say that, hey, if you don't like what, they're, what they say here in their um, position in the 100, remember that this was written by a bunch of great old guitar players. Wow, a bunch of old farts got around the table and was going to tell us all who we know subjectively who we think is the greatest, who's the greatest. Look, man, I don't care if the ghost of Mozart's fart wrote this. It's completely dumb. I mean, let's look here. We got... <laughs> it just burns me up even looking at this crap. So, in the top, <laughs> we got Eric Clapton. Not better than either one of them. Not better than... Eddie, for sure. Jimmy Page, not even kind of better. Number four, Keith Richards, better than Eddie Van Halen. Right. Jeff Beck, close. No. B.B. King, mm, pretty damn good. Oh, wait. Is Eddie number eight? Because Chuck Berry's number seven. Eddie's number eight, behind all of them. No. I don't believe that crap for a minute. But still... No one should be at number one. I mean, you got people like Jerry. You don't have to like the Grateful Dead, but as far as improvising, nobody, nobody was better than Jerry Garcia. Not one person on here. Frank Zappa, 22. 22. Chet Atkins behind, um, behind Jimmy Page and, um, freaking Keith Richards. Are you kidding me? Angus Young behind Keith Richards, Carlos Santana, Les Paul, Derek Trucks. Behind Keith Richards, you see what crap this is? Guys, there should be no one that is on a list that's the number one guitar player of all time. It all matters what you think, subjectively. There is no way to qualify and quantify. I mean, you could all day long, but then somebody's going to beat somebody else in something else, and somebody else loves them way more. So no, no, that's crap. And Tyler, I hope you don't kill me. But since you went ahead and stole my guitar center from a hundred oaks, which I don't get to go into anymore, next time I'm down there, how about cutting heads? And please don't kill me. All right, guys. Remember, it's not about this one's better than this one. It's about who makes you feel the best when you hear them play. And again, if anybody goes in the comments and didn't listen all the way through, make fun of them, because they deserve it. How about one of the best sitting in this chair? How about yeah. That?